Hello. Today in this video I'm going to show uh, how to make a 3D printed uh, key blank for a lock. So if you're like me, you probably ordered some uh, locks from eBay and uh, then you found out that there is no key. Uh, it probably was written in the description, but also that the keyway is uh, not exactly from your country and it's impossible to get uh, key blanks for it. So this is my case for most of the locks I order and uh, therefore I decided to try and make a 3D printed version of a, of a key blank. So this is the result and uh, in this video I'll show you how, to, you, you, how you can make uh, th this blank using uh, free tools and, and uh, a 3D printer. So let's start by uh, taking a picture of the keyway. So to do this uh, you can use uh, your cell phone if you have a good camera and uh, the important bit here is to uh, take out the picture directly from above so so that we can uh, we can see uh, we can see the keyway properly and have uh, good lighting. Uh, another important thing is to take a picture uh, with uh, some sort of a tool which will tell you uh, exactly the size of the keyway because when we we will import it to our, our program uh, uh, we will not have the proper sizes so it is best if you just take the picture holding some sort of a ruler so I'm doing that right now okay done so next I will uh, transfer the picture to my uh, computer and we'll continue from there. I will use the free paint.net program for Windows to edit the file we took with our phone. Let's load the file and rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. As you can see, I didn't take the image directly above the keyway. When you do it, you should probably do take the image directly from above because otherwise the keyway will not be perfect. But for this example, it is enough to understand what I'm doing. So let's first cut the important par part out of the image. Now, as you can see, the keyway is pointing to the left, but we want our key to be pointing to the right, because the key needs to be a mirror image of the keyway. Therefore, it is important that we flip the image before uh, editing it in the 3D software. Let's flip the image horizontally. Also, we want the keyway to be clearer, so we can adjust the contrast and brightness of the image, so that it, it will be easier to see the contours of the keyway. Okay, now it is, now it is easy to see the, the keyway, uh, but since the 3D program uses uh, black lines uh, in its editing surface, we want the keyway to be white. Therefore, we can just adjust, uh, uh, the in, do invert colors on the image, and get a white clear keyway. Okay, this is good. Let's save the image and continue to our 3D program. I will use the free Google SketchUp program uh, to edit the, the file that we edited with uh, paint.net. So first let's import it and align it with the origin. Now uh, it wants us to select the, the size of the image, but uh, you don't have to be exact here. Now do, remember that we uh, use the ruler with, inside the image. This, this is the time to use it to properly size the image. So we know that this is five millimeters and this says 2.7 so we need to make it about twice bigger 
So oh, we can scale it by a factor of two. Let's see. Okay, this is a bit too big. So let's scale it again. Let's see now. Okay, good enough. So now we have uh, the scaled e image of our keyway. Okay, so now it's time to trace the keyway using the line tool. You don't have to be exact, but you want to keep the points on the face of the image. We will edit the exact uh, contour later. Now you can also see why it was important so that the keyway be white and not black. Okay, great. We created the surface and now we can adjust the points to fit the keyway a little bit better. And you don't want to be exactly on the edge because you want to have some free space between the keyway the key and the and the keyway and because your 3d printer probably not exact enough to create it perfectly okay so this is good enough and we can now delete our original keyway image now we want to create the shaft of the key. So I measured the, the log that I will want to use this key, key with, and I know that uh, uh, the length of the key needs to be 30 millimeters. So we can write 30 millimeters. Okay, so this is pretty tall. And uh, now uh, we want to have the leading edge a bit sloped so that the key can go in better. Okay, so uh, let's add some lines. And maybe there is a better way to do it, but this is the way I'm doing it. Uh, if you have a better way, I'd love to hear it in the comments. So, okay, so Google SketchUp allows us to raise the lines along the blue axis oh, let's, no let's select the two lines so this is a bit tricky uh, one. but it's important that you raise you raise it uh, uh, only on the Z axis on the blue axis in this program and it should be about three millimeters long okay so this will have to do and now it's a bit crooked so let's see if we can raise this point as well nope Just a little bit more. As long as you're on the blue axis, you're fine. Let's see on the other side. And again, this doesn't have to be exact. You just want it to have like the shape of the key so that it uh, slides over the key pins easily. Let's adjust this. As long as you're on the blue axis, you're fine. Okay, so this is pretty good. Now we have the shaft of our, of our key at the uh, proper length. And 
and uh, this is the tricky bit because I don't want to print it flat because uh, then the, you have to rely on the good adhesion of your printer but I, instead I print it standing, uh, standing up so to do so uh, in the next uh, stage we will add um, a base to, to this key now that we have the shaft ready Let's make a base for our key so that we can print it upright. First, we measure the size of the key. Okay, this is about 9 millimeters. And I want to make the base, let's say, let's say, 7 millimeters by 12 millimeters. I think this will be fine. Okay. So the base will, will be consist of two parts. One the first uh, the first part will be the size of two millimeters. And the second part will be like the handle, and it will be um, the rest, I guess, five millimeters. So let's scale this line a bit. No, it doesn't want to scale. Let's just move the end points on this axis no so this is not what I want let's first create another line here and then move the end point uh, like yeah two millimeters and here also two millimeters and let's see what is the width of this. This is one millimeter. Oh. Let's delete this line. And now we can raise it, uh, let's say, three millimeters. Okay. Let's turn it to the proper orientation. Come on. I think I need to select it. Select all connected. Then and then I think I can turn it. Okay, okay. I can turn it ninety degrees. Okay, now it's in the proper orientation. Delete all these guides. And next, we'll attach it to the key. Time to attach this base to the key. And let's first select this and move it a little bit on the blue axis so that we can align it properly with the key. So I'll select, I drag it via the midpoint here. onto the midpoint here, but it doesn't want to collaborate. Maybe a different angle. Okay, midpoint to midpoint. And now I can just adjust it a little bit on this axis so that it looks nicer. 
אוקיי. This is done. Uh, we have our key ready. Next is uh, import, uh, exported and adjusted for our 3D printing software. Now we can export our key model uh, as an STL file, which can be loaded by our 3D printer. Google SketchUp doesn't come by default with an X STL exporter, but you can download it from the uh, Google SketchUp store. Okay, let's call it key.stl, save. Now by default, the models exported for, with the, this STL exporter are broken and can be loaded with the 3D printer, but you can load it inside a default Windows 10 program called 3D Builder, which will then ask you if you want to fix or repair the model. Just click yes, and the model is ready to be printed. Let's save it as key fixed. I'm using the CEL Robox printer to print the key. So this key is ready to be printed. I usually uh, use the medium setting uh, default with 80% fill and with four support brim because the base is uh, so narrow that you should probably uh, use the brim especially if you don't have a heated surface uh, and if you're using ABS like uh, I do. So the keys that you saw in the beginning of the video were printed using these settings using uh, ABS material. Well, good luck. I hope uh, this tutorial helps.